I'm going to try to keep it short and simple. Uh, obviously, all three ahead of me, all they had was complaints about how they had to come up here. I think they all did a great job. So I give you guys credit for leading the way, and I'm just going to follow. I think Dr. Larry Price, thank you for having the vision. Uh, you know, I think each and one of, every one of us have thanked you for that. But to have a vision, sometimes it's not that easy to achieve. So to have uh, the vision and to work and to create something like this is, is, is unthinkable. And thank you very much for that. To the Hawaii Sports Hall of Fame committee, Elaine and their group, thank you for having me. All past inductees, uh, you know, I think it's an honor for myself to be named and put in that category. Coach Murakami, I think uh, you're a pioneer in the game of baseball. Thank you for being an inspiration uh, and meaning so much for our state. I remember as a kid in 99, I got to meet you uh, for the first time as a young kid and hoping for a dream to be a, at that time was a rainbow. And uh, to play at the University of Hawaii, unfortunately, I decided to take my career pro, and uh, I guess I was thankful for that a little bit. But thank you again for giving me an opportunity <laughs> to come to the state of Hawaii or get an opportunity to be, uh, you know, to play for the University of Hawaii by offering me a scholarship. Two and two, two nights inductees, Clarissa, Clayton, uh, and Dean, I think you guys all have said your story and how you inspired others. Uh, I think a lot of you guys understand what and it meant to me. I think, Dean, we met and you were, uh, you know, some of you guys played in, in years ahead of me, so trust me, you guys were all inspirations to what I was able to achieve. I want to thank my better half, Melissa, for being the beautiful wife and the amazing wife that, you know, sometimes people think it's this great glorified and it's such a, you know, hurrah to be a professional athlete. It is, but the dedication and the effort <laughs> that you got to put into it and to do and have a wife that actually knows you sometimes better than you know yourself, you really appreciate that. So uh, thank you for being who you are and, and, and being an inspiration and being by my side. Uh, to my kids, uh, you know, for being, I think, you know, making me a role model now to try to be an inspiration to them to lead the path and give them a vision of, of wanting to be something someday and hopefully you know, represent, you know, we live in Las Vegas, uh, you know, but they hopefully someday will represent their little town and, and living in Las Vegas and, and represent who they are. I think my mom and dad, uh, Joycelyn and Michael, for teaching me as a young age never to give up. I think that's the biggest thing that helped me through my whole professional career was they taught me that at a young age was never to give up. When, when I committed to something, even though I hated it, even though I didn't want to be there, they, they, they made me fulfill and, and, and seek all the way through and finish whatever season it was, whatever activity it was. So thank you guys for that. To my big brother, Mikey, for being a role model. Uh, you know, I wanted to be like you. Uh, you know, I try to achieve things, and, you know, we, we talked about it a little bit today uh, about how, you know, we used to put the rubber slipper on, not this time to run as fast as I could, but to hit a tennis ball that he was trying to throw as hard as he could at me from 10 feet away. And I could run to that slipper to his first base, second base, and third base. And, you know, people today talk about the game of baseball. That was how I learned the game of baseball. I, but, again, I didn't just learn the game of baseball. I learned how to be a young man. Uh, by, by sometimes learning, you know, trying to play against him, who's four and a half years older than I was. So he was sometimes 13 and I was eight, trying to play against, you know, picture that. But all that time I lost at that age, it taught me failure and how to keep overcoming that failure. So thank you for being that inspiration because it definitely helped me in my professional career. To my mentors and coaches and teammates for pushing me to be my best. Uh, that was what it, what it was about. I had some of the most amazing coaches that guided me uh, that, you know, Liz touched on it a little bit. I wasn't the most, uh, as you can probably tell, most calm kid uh, growing up as a kid. Uh, so I want to thank, uh, you know, my coaches, my teammates, again, for pushing me to be my best. Uh, the state of Hawaii for allowing me to represent our state and having my back through it all, through my career. You know, you saw that vote Victorino up there. The state helped me win, uh, you know, not one, but two uh, invites to, to be an MLB All-Star. So. You know, thank you for always allowing me and following my guidance and following my, you know, and being my role model and being, allowing me to be a role model for my state and for the Keiki. Uh, and in closing, I'd like to say this, the legacy I hope to leave behind is, a, is as a role model for every Keiki and every person connected to the 808 that, to, that you can achieve the unthinkable if you put your mind to it. Thank you and uh, mahalo for allowing me to be up here and, and, and be a, inducted into the White Sports Hall of Fame.